Well, <laughs> that doesn't look like enough to, to hold my hair, yeah. Well, I don't have any more of this. What else can I use? Oh, I have super glue. I bet you that'll hold my hair. Okay, well, I, I found some more. So luckily, you know, I don't have to use the super glue right now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's kind of what this story is about. Um, yeah, I don't want... So that's what this story is about. Now, I don't want to throw any hate or shade or anything towards this person. It's, uh, I just want to maybe offer a little advice near the end. Um, <laughs> But yeah, because we've all, let's face it, everybody, we've all done something in our lives that we completely regret. Something that we say, what were we thinking on doing? So what did this person end up doing? They were getting their hair styled, getting ready to do it and shape it and everything. And the hairspray or the hair glue that they normally use to put there and hold, use their, to hold their hair in place, they ran out of. So they thought that using Gorilla Glue spray and industrial strength adhesive was a good idea <laughs> at the time. Um, Needless to say, uh, Gorilla Glue is used for bathroom tiles and wood, and it's made to permanently hold things in place. And it's also waterproof. So after this uh, girl put on this adhesive glue, it held it all right. It held her hair in a beautiful ponytail and flat, and except it just kept tightening and tightening and tightening. <laughs> and she said, well, I better wash this out. So she tried washing it out, nothing happened. Wash, tried washing it out another day, nothing happened. She tried washing it out another day. She tried washing it out 15 times and nothing happened because it's waterproof. You can't wash out something that's waterproof once you coat your hair in it. Not to mention that it's not meant for hair in the first place, right? It's, it's not. It says right on the label to keep away from your eyes, your mouth, your clothing, and your skin. So more on that later. Um, so she reached out to her subscriber base. I think she's a TikToker saying that, uh, you know, and she right away, she tells a story. She didn't say, uh, she mistakenly did it or anything like that. She, she said she reached for it and purposely used it, uh, not thinking properly, not you know paying attention to the label or anything like that. And now she was looking for help on how to get it out of her hair. What should she do? What should she do? Trouble is she reached out to people like a month after doing this. So that, all this time, that glue is setting and setting and setting in her hair and tightening and tightening and tightening the whole time. Uh, she didn't reach out to Gorilla Glue. She didn't reach out to a hospital or anything like that. She reached out to her TikTok followers who came up with all kinds of things to try and do. And she tried a few of them and nothing worked. And finally, she went to an emergency a hospital and eventually they were able to cut off the ponytail and now she's apparently going to be heading out to LA to a doctor out there who says that you know they can get the remainder of the stuff out of her hair. She says her scalp is burning from all the different materials used to try and remove the glue from her scalp, etc. Because don't forget, if you glue down your hair and you glue, you're also gluing in your pores and your follicles into your scalp and clogging them up. 
that like that's like I all kinds of bad things all kinds of bad things can happen so I'm following this it's on TMZ and I'm seeing other people do comments on it and a lot of people are giving her hate now let's come on we've all done something completely stupid in our lives and this is that thing that that girl did she did something completely stupid and she'll admit it she, she, she knows she did something dumb uh, that's no need reason to give her hate or anything like that. Uh, you know, this could permanently damage her head. She could have infections. She could have a lot of bad things happen. So I'm not going to criticize her or anything like that for that. Um, she's even raised money in a GoFundMe page to help pay for the flights and everything to this hospital and to see the doctors. She originally asked for like $1,500. And, you know, people felt sorry for her and things that's, it's up to $9,000. So, so she's going to be okay that way. And she's going to get better medical care and, and looked after other than just random people on the internet telling you how you can get Gorilla Glue out of your hair. Because all of us have experienced how to get Gorilla Glue out of our hair. <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, you have to talk to somebody who knows what they're talking about. And I hope she didn't see that one comment that was down there telling her to put rubbing alcohol over and over in her hair and what that will eventually get it out. And it's called Gorilla Glue Official. Well, Gorilla Glue Official has nothing to do with Gorilla Glue. It's not Gorilla Glue. It's somebody who just made a fake account and claiming to be Gorilla Glue Official because they think they know best or they're just trying to screw with somebody, really. Um, you know, a lot of people in the social media out there and, you know, people who are on TikTok and YouTube, and they, they get people who create fake accounts on them all the time. And um, so, yeah. Uh, 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 and, and of course, she got all the hate. All different people out there who do drama channels and comedy channels are making fun of her over and over and over again. And, you know, it's the ten, five minutes of fame, I guess. You're famous for doing something fantastic and you're famous for doing something kind of ridiculous. Uh, you know, you can get it either way. At least... She did this to herself accidentally. She didn't realize. It's not like those garbage people that were going around and licking ice cream and putting it back in the freezer in grocery stores. Those people are complete trash and garbage. Those people are garbage. And I'll say it plain and clear. Uh, you're, you're a garbage human being. Anyone who went and did that for fame and clout and things like that. This girl just did something stupid and accidental to herself. But the last article I read after uh, her experience in the hospital and her talking about her scalp burning and everything is that she's, she's contemplating her legal options and possible sue of Gorilla Glue. Because on the label it says, keep away from your mouth eyes, skin, and clothing. Nowhere on the label did it say uh, hair. So it's misleading. No, it's not misleading. It's a uh, permanent adhesive made for household objects and repairs to household. It's not meant to put on your hair. It's not misleading at all. It's not a hairspray. It's not aimed at hair. You will lose that lawsuit immediately it will be thrown out and I hope you're not going to pay for a lawyer because you will have to pay for it and you will lose because you don't have a leg to stand on at all because if they say oh they didn't say hair well you know what they also didn't say don't spray Gorilla Glue uh, on your dog don't spray Gorilla Glue uh, you know on your uh, gas tank it's, it's ridiculous some you know do we need to put a warning label on the car saying, do not run people over? You know, do not put a match in your gas tank. At some point, you have to take your own responsibility. And stupidity is not responsibility, right? You did something dumb, just own up to it. You're lucky enough to have a platform where people have supported you, gave you money and go fund me to get your own stuff looked after. Don't look for a payout. Don't look for to strike it rich because it's nobody's fault but your own that this happened to you. Nobody's fault. 
Because you don't, you cannot tell me you thought at any point that that was a smart idea. <laughs> so yeah, just own up to mistakes. People nowadays are so quick to try and sue. Uh, you know, I did something dumb, but hey, you know what? Maybe I can get rich off of it. You know, just, no, no. Start owning up to being a human being and making a mistake and getting over it. Uh, she's out there saying that she didn't do this for clout. She didn't do this for subscribers, even though her subscribers have jumped because everyone's covering it. She didn't do it originally for that. Well, my advice to you also is don't try and sue as a result of this because it'll drag on and right now you're that girl who made a funny mistake. If you start suing and everything, you'll turn into that girl who's greedy and, you know, entitled and all that other stuff. And that's not what you want to do, especially if you're trying to be any kind of person on social media. But yeah, yeah. Um, I guess I'm going to make sure I have lots of this on hand at any time, just so I'm not tempted to spray my head with super glue.